Hey everybody, welcome to Engineering Academy and in this video I'll be talking about the 7 things that you should never do as an engineering student. Alright, so don't number 1, don't make friends, make networks. Alright, so here by don't make friends, I don't mean that you shouldn't make any friends at all and isolate yourself and go to forest and meditate, so I don't mean that, alright? Okay, so you should keep your friendship within a limit, okay? So mind you that the friends that you have for now will not be with you after the graduation, alright? So maybe that you guys will be in touch for like one year or maybe like two years, you know, after that. So your friends will go somewhere, you will be somewhere and you guys won't be in touch at all. Alright, so uh, keep your friendship within a limit, don't waste your time and don't waste your education for friends, alright, so, okay, alright, so instead of that, you should make uh, networks, alright, so uh, by networks means you should be in contact with a very, uh, you know, big person in your field, okay, so for that, what you can do, you can just follow your, uh, you know, professor, so if he has got seminars where he can invite you, just go to those seminars and uh, there might be some engineering clubs right so your engineering clubs right so uh, just go to those engineering clubs and uh, you know um, know people and you know expand your network all right so the second don't is uh, don't listen to the seniors don't listen to the seniors okay so by the seniors I mean the seniors who discourage you all right all right so the second don't is uh, don't listen to the seniors don't listen to the seniors okay so by the seniors I mean the seniors who discourage you all right so there are people or the seniors you know who tell you that a certain subject is very tough okay so even before you have started studying that subject you feel that oh this subject is really tough and you know but the chances are that you might get failed in that subject all right so don't listen to those seniors because no any subject is tough ever okay so the toughness is only in your mind so for example consider any subject that you are studying and you know you find that subject tough and assume that you study that subject a day and night okay so night means if you are a night owl just like me so you might study that subject at night as well and get your problem sorted out okay so now that even after doing that will that subject be tough for you i don't think that will be right so don't listen to the seniors that just that you know discourage you from studying and that discourage you saying that certain subject is tough and make that subject actually tough for you all right okay so the third don't that you should and third don't that you shouldn't do is the politics politics all right so I don't mean that you should you know cut off from the politics at all so every student or every person must be politically conscious but don't waste your time in unnecessary politics and don't follow your political leaders blindly all right so there are some political leaders that will use you for your for their own benefit and at the end of the day all you get is nothing all right so a big nothing so you won't get anything but they will earn a big amount of money from the college all right so the fourth thing that you shouldn't do at the college is running after the girls all right I am running after the girls okay so uh, particularly at the college so you got is that you you are attracted to the opposite sex but hey you must control your hormones all right okay so uh, running after the girls will just waste your time and you might waste your money as well and if you focus on the girls you can focus on your education and uh, you, you know chances are high that you might get failed because only of this thing right i have seen many people they fail because you know they just run after the girls and they don't study at all all right so don't do this thing okay so if you are good at something and if you are you know out of the crowd or out of out of the crowd or you know a unique among your friends the girls will follow you and trust me they will okay so don't do this thing and the fifth thing that you shouldn't do is abuse your teachers abuse your teachers all right 
So if you are one of the guys who just makes the fun of the teacher in front of friends and you know if your friends laugh you feel like you are the you have done the most heroic act in this entire universe then let me tell you that the teacher is actually watching you okay and if you are an engineering student and teacher happens to be an engineer as well the chances are high that today or tomorrow you too will stumble in one platform okay so in that situation the teacher must think that this person was a very good student of mine and not that he should think oh this was the most ridiculous person i have ever seen all right so make your impression good all right so make good impression good impression okay so uh, uh, all right so don't don't do this thing i respect your teachers because they are superior to you they have something in them that made them to, to come and teach you all right so you must respect them for that and the second thing and the sixth thing that you shouldn't do is rely solely on notes okay so I have seen a lot of students who study only the notes and they go to the exam, they do their exams good and after that they forget everything what they have studied. Okay, so don't be that person. Okay, so uh, suppose that if I give you two things, alright, the first thing is a bag consisting of one million dollar and the second is a bag consisting of hundred coins. So what will you choose? You will obviously choose a bag with one million dollar, right? Same is for the books and the notes. So the books provide huge knowledge while the notes provide a little knowledge. All right. So that doesn't mean that you shouldn't, uh, you know, study notes at all. You can study. So uh, they, you know, they, they provide you the knowledge that in which depth you should answer the question in the examination hall, right? I don't think there is any other purpose of the notes. Okay. So the books are way better than the notes and always follow the books. Okay. And the final thing that you shouldn't do at the college is don't blame your teacher for everything. Everything. By everything, I mean everything. All right, so I have seen students, you know, who blame teachers for everything. All right, so suppose that uh, the teacher taught you a uh, one topic, a certain topic. All right, and he, you know, you know, solved any one numerical question. Okay, so he had taught all the theoretical portion, and he solved one numerical. So your job is to be able to solve all the numericals that are related to this topic. All right, so the teacher cannot do all the numericals for you but when in the examination so he taught suppose x numerical right if the y numerical comes the students get furious right so they they start blaming teacher for you know not teaching them this y numerical but even if this y numerical is based in this topic right so don't be that jackass all right once the teacher you know completes his teaching you just go home and open book and study from there and if you have got any confusion go to the teacher and ask him right so this is how you should study right so you should solve all the numericals by yourself right you and solely you are responsible for any numerical or the theoretical portion that you cannot solve in the examination all right so all right so these are the seven don'ts at the college and if you think I uh, think that there are other things that uh, that you shouldn't do at the college, please mention in the comment section, comment section below. All right. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. Take care.